Well, in the headlines today was the situation in Bahrain. Anti-regime protesters once again turning out in huge numbers in the streets, demanding the ouster of King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa. Let's go straight now to the line to Manama Zain. Zainab Al Khawaja, Bahraini activist, who's joining us to share more information with us. Zainab, thanks so, so much for being with us here on Press TV. We're hearing of a probe taking place in Bahrain, which is to start its work on Sunday. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Will the government give the, that, uh, the panel access to wherever it wants to find the facts about the Saudi-backed crackdown? And what do you think uh, will be the results of that probe? Well, the commission right now that's in, uh, in Bahrain, that started work in Bahrain, is the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry, headed by Professor uh, Sharif Basuni. Um, they've just started their work, and uh, two days ago, they had the first event of the press conference talking about uh, the commission and uh, what kind of work they will be doing here in Bahrain. Of course, only time will tell how much they will be able to do and how independent they really are. Many in Bahrain right now have this question on their mind and are not exactly sure because uh, this commission was brought to Bahrain by order from the king. And uh, that makes a big question mark in the minds of Bahrainis as to how independent they really are and how far they can go in um, speaking about the violations that happened and who is responsible for those violations. Yeah, and we are seeing, Zainab, that Bahrainis are saying they're protesting rather on a daily basis because they say their demands are not just releasing prisoners, but real political and social reforms in Bahrain. First of all, do you think that uh, probes like these are going to at least uh, bring some of those reforms to Bahrain or not? Uh, not just political prisoners being released, as was said there by those protesters, deep reforms, both social, political. Well, the thing is, uh, the really sad thing is, and it's very difficult to be positive at the moment because as this um, commission starts violations happening on the streets at the same time, usually what happens is that governments stop the violations, uh, show regret about the violations that happen, they bring a commission to investigate. What's happening in Bahrain is not like that. Actually, it's very strange that at the same time that the king brings a commission to investigate, uh, the violations that happened in February and March. At the same time, there are violations happened on the site of the press conference when a young man was uh, beaten and uh, his body bloodied was thrown beside one of the houses and he was saved at the last moment by people who saw him thrown on the street by running clothes. And uh, this is unacceptable. How are the Bahraini people going to speak to this commission when they don't even feel safe to go out of their houses or to peacefully protest? Um, it's very strange that the king thinks that by bringing this commission, he will show that he is now, uh, that he cares about what happened to the Bahraini people or that he wants to stop the violations when this is happening at the same time. Many, many Bahrainis right now, every time they go out, every time people are beaten, they say, where is the Sunni? Where is the commission? Um, they should be demanding that these violations stop first before they start their investigations, basically. But yeah, as you said, the protest will not stop. I don't think they will, st they will stop anytime soon. Uh, there are Almost on a daily basis, people are going out. And people who are in prison, when they come out of prison, some of them, they're winning the protest with the, with the other protesters to show that we have bigger demands whenever that uh, political prisoners be released. We want the system in the country to change. We don't want systematic torture. We want the people to be represented. In fact, two minutes before this call, I was talking to my father, who is serving a life sentence now in a military prison just, just for being a human rights activist. And I asked him to get a message for the people of Bahrain, and he said, we will continue on this path, and we will not stop. And their patience and uh, for going on and not stopping uh, and always demanding their rights. And I feel the same way. Uh, more than I want my father and my husband to be released from prison, I want to feel and Okay, thanks very much. Zainab Al-Khawaja, Bahraini activist, joining us there on the line from Manama.